What's good? Hey, how well, are you? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. You know, this is, I, I was just thinking like, my gosh, it was a year ago and we had young folks here singing. We're going to do the whole gambit again. But you have continued with your creative genius to bring these stories out. And I got to ask how you started to work on this show in particular this year. This show, my God, it was uh, challenging because we had so many different shows that we could go back on and say, hey, uh, and then Michelle has definitely been pushing for us to do some original stuff. And so when we kept looking at the time frame, we were like, oh, let's go back and let's touch on um, 2006. We did an original play called Summer Rhapsody, The Reunion. We were celebrating our 10 year anniversary and, and it was just necessary to talk about what young people hear from us adults that either encourage them to live into their dreams or leave them average and living into our expectations. Um, and so it was kind of edgy for teenagers at that time, um, but it's relevant today. And so Michelle was like, hey, let's do that and call it Dream the Summer Rhapsody Revisited. Um, and so it's about that same story. It's about what young people hear from adults. Uh, one or two words, that's silly, that's dumb, that might lead them to go, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't do that, when it's passionately within them. Um, so Dream is about that. We have 37 young people who have committed their entire summers, Monday through Friday, nine to five. We've done some Saturday and Sunday parades and kicking it we're here with you kicking it um and so it's just been awesome and we open this friday the 18th at the langston hughes performing arts institute this is so exciting for yeah. me okay so of course uh many of you have heard me talk about this but my son is one of those 37 <laughs> kids so my, you know there's a proud mama moment happening for me right. this year that changes the game because he came to me months before and said mom i want to act and then y'all had an amazing program that he got to participate in. And so I said, okay, they're going to do auditions for the musical. You know, do, do you want to try that? He said, he was so enthusiastic. Yes, I, I really do. I, I want to try. And I'm so grateful that he's getting this experience because y'all have no idea when he comes home, the, the, the proud beaming look on his face of what he's able to accomplish, you know, getting himself outside of his comfort zone. That's something that I'm getting experience for the first time as a parent mm. with my son participating. And, you know, I've only had my own experiences to go off of right. when it comes to theater. Cause my oldest son was like, mom, I'm, I'm, I'm a sports, <laughs> you know, I'm athletics only, you know, but I'm so grateful that I, I'm, now experiencing the love y'all are pouring into these young people through my son. So thank you. Thank y'all for that, because there's something so special yeah. that I didn't realize was happening at that time from nine to five, on Monday through Friday. Tell us about that, because you're imparting so much in these kids, which is also a theme of the, of the musical this year. It is absolutely. Uh, the Teen Summer Musical and all that we do at Acts on Stage and all that I've been doing within the Parks Department for theater is that of instilling self discipline, self-confidence, and self-motivation in young people. And we feel with those three aspects in life that they can do any and all. And so young as Johnny, man, that cat came in. And so he is the first, he and the other four or five young people are the first of what we call the minis returning to the teen summer musical after five years now. It's been about five years. Wow. And so it's just a blessing to have those young people back. And they keep the elders moving. Because they're looking at them and going, I'm there next. Aww. You know. Well, they have something to look forward to. And that's the beauty of it. Yes. But I also love seeing his connection to all the young people when we're out in community. So, of course, when we're at the Swingman Classic and we got, uh, you know, like every black family <laughs> is present. He's like, oh, mom, I know that. Oh, hey. And they're like, oh, Johnny, oh, hi, come <laughs> give me a hug. Like it was he was like, oh, man, now this is not just stuff my mom is taking me to. This is stuff I'm excited to come to because I'm seeing people I know. Yes. Uh, when you think about some of those lessons, I mean, there's still adults who need to understand the impact and the power that our words have on young people. What are some of the takeaways you really want folks to understand when they come and see the show? Um, I think what happens, especially during the summer, is our young people get engaged and engulfed in what we're doing. And when they go home, they engage their parents and then their parents start going, oh, really? Uh, we literally had a young lady who was a part of the program um, whose mom told her, you're wasting your time. 
you're wasting your time. And I was like, how ironic that that's what the story is about. Um, and so moving forward, we want, we want adults to understand that your kids' lives are more than what you present them with, right? And so there's a balance of what you give them and what they see and want for themselves, right? And so um, the Teen Summer Musical has been doing that for 25 plus years and we continue to do it. And we have the, the alums come back and the newbies come in and the kids all kind of start to click. And you know, when they start off, it's like, mm. but when we end, by the time we end, they're all one big family. That's beautiful. Uh, you know, yesterday uh, was my first day back from a, a pilgrimage in mm. Kemet, in ancient Egypt. And um, I was there with 117 amazing black folks from all over wow. the world. And th that same kind of familial experience is something I just experienced uh, as an adult. And it was really, it, you know, it imparted some things on me wow. and I'm so grateful that my son is getting that experience, but, it, but it's, it's, it's for me, it, there's so many different lessons that come through theater. And one day, uh, I guess it was part of the homework. My son came to me and said, uh, mom, I got to ask you, what did you want to do when you were younger? Right. It was like a question. You said, go ask your parents, you Absolutely. know what they want to do. And so I had the privilege and honor of explaining to him, wow, it's what I'm doing, right? And I got to hear you share your answer a little bit when mm -hmm. I was picking him up that day. And it was one of those things where I said to him, man, I'm going to tell you right now, you couldn't have told me when I was nine and I had this passion to be in front of the camera and to learn and to go on auditions and be in these you know, movies and commercials and shows that I would be able to have my own show one Absolutely. day. You wouldn't even have been able to tell me that. But I, I explained to him, that's what dedication does. And when you have a real commitment to yourself, you know, about what you really love and you got the support of family, there's the doors will open for you. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And Absolutely. so I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful because he's getting, he's in this exploratory age where he's like, mom, I want to do it. I'm like, all right, you got the mom who's going to push you to do it. So I'm so glad to hear this overall theme and message this year. I'm glad to know that I'm one of those parents that's like, hey, yo, come on. Let me, you let's said you wanted it. I'm going to find the way, right? Yes. Um, and, and so when you think about some of the young folks over the years that you've been able to mentor, take under your wing, you know, I, I've gotten to see you work with, you know, kids that are in early 20s even now. And some adults, when it's their first time on stage, what are some of those big takeaways for you in ways that you've been able to impart your love into just not just the theater community, but folks who are finding their way in the world of theater through acts on stage? You know, I, I believe and it's one of my gifts and I don't have any other way of explaining it. It's not something I went to school to do. It's recognizing that we all have this ability to do. We just don't always have the opportunity and someone to push us into it. And so when new people come to us, what we do is we use their experiences to say, this is what I want you to do on stage. This is how I want you to feel. I do it with the young people with the Teen Summer Musical. Um, there's nothing they can do on stage that they don't have some type of experience from. And all we have to do is figure out where it is. And so older people, young people, uh, even myself, I continue to learn. And I've been telling the, the, the cast all summer, I'm learning a lot this summer, y'all. Next year going to look a little different, but, wow. you know, I feel good <laughs> about it. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is. Every, all of us have it. It's just that opportunity and a platform to express it. Yeah, there's something to be said about that. And I'm grateful that we have such an amazing tight knit community here. And I hear, you know, when I travel specifically and, and I listen to stories of other folks who are like, man, what y'all are doing, we don't got like, we don't have that. So sometimes you you don't know what you have until right. you're talking to folks who don't have that Absolutely. access. And there's something so special about that. So kudos to you, the entire Acts on Stage team uh, for everything that y'all have been pouring into the community for all of these years. Of course, the show is starting. Starting this week, Friday, Absolutely. Langston Hughes, uh, amazing that y'all are, you know, continuing at Langston. Yeah. Tell us more and why it's important for folks to come and support this year. Listen, y'all got to get your tickets. You got to come. The historic Langston Hughes Performing Arts Institute, but more so the, the historic Teen Summer Musical, that community show that, that I think I heard Michelle say it best, should be just as significant as the Bite of Seattle. Mm. To us... Uh, people of color. And so get your tickets, man. 
five shows each weekend, Friday, two shows, Saturday, two shows, Sunday, one show. Don't wait for Sunday. Go and get you a couple of tickets if you want to, especially this, this first week. Get it in because we're going to have a good time. Like I said, 37 young people who are gifted and going to share those gifts uh, with a message. Wow. Empowering indeed. Always a pleasure, Isaiah. Thank, Thank you so you, much Trey. for being with it's me. An honor. Oh my gosh, y'all. We get to